Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, put marbles in a bag. The problem states that you are given k bags and you are also given a array weights where weight i denotes the weight of the ith marble. So there are some marbles and there are k bags. Now you need to divide the marbles into k bags the which follows the with the following rule no bag is empty if the ith marble belong to if the ith marble and the jth marble belong to a same bag then all the marbles between the ith and the jth index should also belong to the same bag similarly if bag consists of all the marbles from i to j then the cost of the bag is weight of i plus weight of j right so total score would be the sum of cost of every bag right so you have to assign some marble to every bag and the cost of every bag you can calculate through this formula weight i plus weight j and finally you will calculate the score of this entire distribution by just summing up all the cost now you can assume like you can see that there are a lot of different possibilities so you need to find the one with the maximum score and one with the minimum score and then just subtract those two and that will be your answer right so let's take an example let's see these are the weights of the marbles so there are four marbles with weight 1351 and there are two bags right so one possible distribution is this so you assign first marble to first bag and the th second third and fourth marble to the second bag so the cost of this uh, or the score of this assi assignment would be the sum of cost of each of the bags so what is the cost of this bag cost of this bag would be the weight of ith index which is the starting and weight of the jth index which is the ending so here starting and ending is same so it is 1 plus 1 right and what is the score of this uh, so what is the cost of this the cost would be 3 plus 1 which is 4 so total score of this arrangement would be 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 which is 6 and this is the minimum like minimum score possible you can try any other combination you will not be able to uh, get something which is greater than 6 right similarly this is the max this is the arrangement with the maximum score and what is the score score would be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 1 which is 10 so the your final answer would be the difference of these two which is 4 right so we will return 4 as the answer so hope the problem statement is clear now how to solve this so first let's try to understand these three scenarios right so they are uh, like what exactly these three scenarios denotes so the last one is simple like uh, if a index uh, if if a bag contain all the marbles from index i to j the weight or the cost of that bag would be weight of i plus weight of j that is okay now this this constraint and this constraint no bag is empty and if ith and jth marble belong to the same bag then all the marbles between ith and jth index should also belong to the same bag so these two constraint is actually interesting so because no bag is empty and you have to divide all the marbles like the, you, you can't skip any marble here because you have to divide all the marbles so what exactly like what happens is uh, it says let's say you you assign these two let's say bag some bag i right now you assign these two some let's say some bag j right now you can't skip anything here what 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 do you mean by skip so let's say you say that okay i will skip five and i will put five in some other bag so that is not possible because what like let's say you put it to uh, some bag k right now you can't put anything in this uh, in this area to k right because let's say you put seven to seven into k so if you put seven into k then by the second rule uh, where which is which says that if i and j th marble belongs to the same bag then all the marbles between them should belong to that same bag as well so with that rule you can see if you assign 5 to k and 7 to k everything between them should also belong to k so you, that is not possible because you have already assigned that to some i so what does it mean it means that 
you have to start from the neighboring indexes always so let's say you assign these two first bag right or some bag i so i plus one at bag should always start from this index right because you if you start with some other index you have to put it somewhere right and now if you put it some some in some other bag then that bag can contain only this index N not nothing else because it can't contain anything which belongs to this and it can't contain anything which belongs to this because if it contains that then according to second rule everything in this area should also be part of the same bag and that is something which we already told that we have assigned to some other bag so hope this makes sense so what exactly we are saying that the condition is now we have to just divide the array into k partitions that's it right so that's the condition now so let's say k is 3 right or so if you divide the array like this so this is your first partition or num the all the marbles all these marbles will go to the first bag all this marble will go to the second bag and all this mar marble will go to the third bag right so that's what like that's what the problem has asked for like we have to just divide the given array into k partitions and just tell what is the difference between the minimum and maximum score of the partition right now notice that you have to divide it into k partition and each partition cost uh, would be weight i plus weight j right now what exactly or how exactly we should start let's say you have to start with this index right uh, so this will belong to the first partition right now let, what is the end of this partition so there are multiple possible n values right so one can be this partition uh, one can be this partition and also there can be this partition uh, this can end here or here or anywhere up till here right so let's assume that it ends at here right now if it ends at here what what is the remaining problem the problem is now you have to uh, you have to partition this remaining array 1417 into k minus 1 partition right so this problem is exactly similar to what we are trying to solve right so let's say we are trying to solve okay find me the minimum minimum score of a given array so again uh, just to uh, clarify we are just focusing on one either minimum or maximum and the other part would be exactly similar right so currently let's say we will focus on what is the minimum score and like once we solve that the maximum can be solved in exactly same fashion right so for now we are trying to find out the minimum score and what we have said is this first index would belong to the first bag that is always true now there can be multiple possible end values of this index but once an particular end value is fixed or once we know that where the where the up till what index the first bag will contain all the marbles then the remaining problem is exactly similar to the given problem at hand basically find me the minimum minimum score of partitioning this array into k minus 1 partition so this is exactly same to the original problem we are trying to solve so hope you see the recursion here now let's try to write the formal recursion here so f of i let's say i is the start index so basically you you as you can see like uh, in this particular case we have to say that okay what is this what is the score or what is the minimum score of partitioning this remaining array now the remaining array is defined by what is the start index that that is that is how we are defining the remaining array so this is the first parameter and second how many partition we need to divide this remaining array into now we will do the exact same thing here which we have done with the first partition so here again the first partition can end here 
or here or here or here right so there are four possible choices and we will try all possible choices so we'll say okay uh, if first partition ends at index i right if first partition ends at index i plus 1 i plus 2 and so on and so forth up till uh, index n set n minus 1 right so basically we'll try all possible combination of the first first partition and uh, for each of them we will get something uh, like what exactly we'll get this is the start and this is the end right so let's say this this is denoted by j right so what will be the score score would be the weight of i plus weight of j that is the score of the current partition so let's say this is j right uh, just assume that this is j this index is j now what is the score score would be this uh, weight of i plus weight of j and what is remaining so this is the score now what is remaining the remaining would be you need to now partition the remaining array which is basically starting from j plus 1 into k minus 1 partition right so that's where like this this is the total score that you will get if you start if you end your first partition at index j so you will find this for all indexes and just take the minimum and that's how you will get the minimum score of partitioning the array starting at index i into k partition right so hope this makes sense now what would be the pseudocode look like uh, let's just get rid of these so pseudocode would look something like this exactly similar like uh, we will just say we'll, we have a start index and an index k and we'll say okay we will iterate over all the end indexes in the range start index to n and find the cost what is the current cost current cost would be the partition starts at this index and ends at this index so uh, the cost of the partition would be array start index plus array end index and the remaining like notice that we have only partition into one partition so the remaining would be f of end index plus one comma k minus one now there there will be certain base conditions here i am ignoring that fact for now that would be straightforward to come with but this is the overall pseudocode that would uh, solve this particular problem now what will the time complexity here the time complexity here would be uh, number of what what number of states first of all you will memorize this right so what is the how many different states are possible number of different values of start index is n number of different values of k is let's say k right and inside each of these states so there are total n into k k's uh, n into k states now with each of these states we are iterating over all the n indexes so number of possible n indexes could be order n so this is the final time complexity which is n square k and this will definitely not pass right uh, because n and k both are up to 10 to the power 5 now you will like as always you will try to optimize it so now what can we optimize we can't take out n and k at all right these are the number of states so this is fixed so what we can only take out is this n by some optimization let's say and even if we do that the complexity would not fit in the time com like uh, in the given time complexity because uh, they are asking for something which works in n log n or uh, of that sort so the given solution itself will not work here so now is the time to make some observation right so we are kind of stuck here but now is the time to make some observation and see if we can optimize this state itself n and k state itself right so now let's say you okay uh, let's just get rid of this for now right uh, yeah so what exactly this partition let's say k k is 3 right now at the end what you will be getting you will be getting some something like this right so there will be three uh, partitions at the end now when you are starting sorry when you are starting at here you don't know the end part end uh, end index and that's where we have, we have to iterate over those indexes but one interesting thing to note here is let's say you are ending here 
then you are very sure that the next partition will start here right so in a way you don't need to track end indexes or in other words like you only need to track uh, start indexes and that's it because once let's say you you find that okay this is the start index right so if this is the start index i am very sure that the end index of the previous partition would be before me so this in the cost what like what is the cost of this partition the first partition cost would be 1 plus 5 and cost of second partition would be 1 plus 4 so what we are saying is instead of calculating all the end and start indexes separately what we will say okay for every start index we know that the end index would be the index which is prior to me and only this index will contribute to the cost right so in a way what we are saying is we have n possible uh, okay uh, let's just get rid of these things also so what we are saying is we have n possible uh, partitions so like one partition can put here you can put uh, uh, you can put partition here or here like so there are n possible ways you can put a partition so and you need to just find out what is the what is the like wh which k of those n partition is giving you the minimum value so in this particular case let's say you put a partition here right and if you put a partition here we just saw that okay if we put partition here we know the cost of putting a partition here would be 3 plus 5 because if i'm putting a partition here 3 would be the end of the previous partition and 5 would be the start of the next partition so the cost of this partition would be of putting a partition here would be 8 similarly let's say if you put a partition here the cost of putting the partition here would be 4 plus 1 5 right so in a way for all these n partitions we know the cost and we just need to select k of them with minimum cost that's it right so what's the reduced problem now the problem is we have n possible breaking points right and we need to select k of them such that the sum is maximum or minimum right so for let, let's just take this example in this example the cost of putting a partition here is 4 right now cost of putting partition here is 8 similarly cost of putting partition here would be 6 and here would be 5 right so uh, 6 5 now cost of put putting partition here is 5 and par putting partition here is 8 so this is the total cost of partition so there are not n there are n minus 1 possible breaking points right so these are the like cost of putting partitions into n minus 1 breaking points and we just need to select k minus 1 of them like not k k minus 1 like this is just uh, you, you can just do the math so uh, we need to select k minus 1 of them such that the sum is minimum possible or maximum possible so can't you solve this it is exactly uh, similar to if we say find the smallest k elements in the array or find the maximum k element in the array right so that's where this problem will just boil down to sort this array like sort this uh, cost array and just take the maximum k or minimum k right so in this example let's say k is 3 so we just should and we are trying to find out the minimum for example so here we need to just take the minimum 3 of them so what is the minimum 3 4 5 5 so what we are saying is if you take 4 what we are saying we are saying that one partition would be here right and let's say if we are taking 5 uh, this was 8 this was 6 this is 5 so this one partition would be here and we are taking one more 5 and we are saying that this partition would be here now with 4 we have calculated this right with 5 we have taken this with second 5 we have taken this right now what we don't what we haven't taken is uh, the starting of the first partition and the ending of the last partition and that is fixed starting of first partition would always be one 
and ending of last partition would always be 7. So after taking k minus 1 from here, you will just add the starting and the ending. And that way you will be getting what is the maximum uh, what is the maximum sum which uh, or like okay so what is the maximum score of putting k partition after dividing this uh, array into k partitions and in the same way you will get the minimum as well so hope this makes sense let's look at the code the code is very simple we just find the contributions array uh, as weight of j plus weight of j minus 1 and notice that we skip the first index because we want the first partition to start like the first partition can start from this this particular index like this uh, just before one right so after that we sort the array and we now need to find out the min and the max result so both of this as we discussed like the first the starting of the first partition which is weight of 0 and the ending of the last partition weight of n minus 1 will not be counted in our contribution array. So that's where we already initialized this two with uh, the sum of weight of the first and the last uh, marble. And after that, we just uh, take for minimum, we just iterate over the first k minus 1, and for maximum, we iterate over the last k minus 1. And we return the max and the min, the difference between the max and the min result. Right. So hope this solution makes sense. Now there is a small follow-up. So we noticed that uh, this solution was not applicable, right? But uh, let's say the cost function is not weight i plus weight j. Instead, the cost function is weight i plus weight j into k, where uh, uh, into k i, where k i is the i the num the bag in which you are putting this partition, right? So currently bag doesn't matter or order of bag doesn't matter, but with k i in the equation, the order of bag will matter, right? And now I would encourage you to solve this particular follow-up problem as well. That will help you clarify this problem even bit and will able to and you will be able to solve a various like a variation of this problem if given to you in future. So I would strongly encourage you to solve this particular problem by yourself and also as always we can discuss the solution in the comment section below i will be putting the final solution in the pinned comment after a day so hope you like the solution if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not ready and i will see you in the next one thank you